Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to run a test case using TFS 2013 Web Access. So let's go in the server. And I'm going to open up the Internet Explorer. Put a, a URL of your TFS. So I'm going to connect with my TFS. In my case, it's uh, Tech Brothers TFS 8080 is the port TFS. This is URL. If you have access to TFS, it'll take you right to this page. And uh, this is my team project. If you don't see any team project and you're uh, actually opening this brand new, you can click on browse and go to the collection and select the project that you are member of. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Tech Brothers team project. All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to run a test case. Let's say that you already have a test case and you wanted to run that particular test case, go through each step, and each step has two states, whether it's passed, failed, and you need to basically mark that test case um, step, whether you know it's passed or failed. So this is how we're gonna do that. This is just the home page. This is where you can create a lot of stuff. I'll and I'll cover some of the feature that I haven't covered from. Uh, in my last videos but uh, I'll cover some of the feature that is not covered in previous videos but uh, we're gonna in this video we're gonna go ahead and click on test and let's say that uh, uh, this is your uh, requirement right here and um, requirement is give access page to the vendor and this is the test case right here now there are multiple ways that you can run this test Number one, that if you have multiple tests test in this particular requirement and you wanted to run all the tests at the same time, you can go in up here on the left pane and click on here, I'm sorry, click on here and run. This will run all the test cases. Let's say I right now I have only one test case. And um, if you have like a four or five test cases in this particular requirement, this will run all those test cases. But if you wanted to run a, a test case one by one, you need to come up here on this right side and select your test case, particular test case, and you can either right click and run test case. You can click up here, run test case, this little arrow right here is same as right click or you can go ahead and up on the menu right here you can click on run test and run test case using client so what we're gonna do in this particular uh, uh, video we're gonna go ahead and run the test right here click on that once you click on that it will bring up all the tests um, right here the test steps in this particular test case now back behind the scene what's running is called Microsoft tester so uh, Microsoft tester really what it does it brings up all the steps up here on left side for you to complete and uh, also it collects the rich data if you're using uh, Microsoft uh, test manager but uh, in web access it doesn't collect all that data but you still have an option a few options in Microsoft uh, if you're using web access so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click on open attachment and you can open the attachment here and let's say that attachment opened successfully you're gonna go ahead and click on that pass and uh, copy the URL to the application so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's open another Internet Explorer and we're gonna maybe this is our step we're gonna go ahead and open gmail.com and that was our URL and we pasted it so well let me do that www.gmail.com so we pasted that and it says paste in IE we pasted that so it's good and yeah, that is good and click on go or hit enter so we're gonna go ahead and gmail.com I'm gonna just copy it so this this is just uh, demo purposes at gmail.com but in your case it would be your application 
so we're gonna go ahead and click enter and we did enter and uh, something happened after enter it didn't give us error so we're good see if login page appears so we're gonna see if login page appears right here the login page appeared successfully so we're gonna go ahead and mark that as successful as well so uh, once you run the test um, using web access uh, let's say that if failed so you have up here comment got error HTTP 404 can't access you can put a little comment up here and you can save that as well so we're gonna go ahead and actually basically pass that as well once you're done you can click on save and close and go back to TFS and up here you would see that it's passed because every step in that is passed let's say you come back in and and you do the testing again and it really didn't pass for some reason it was overlooked you can go ahead and select that and click up here failed so it's gonna go in failure state and this is how you uh, run your uh, test cases using web access and the options that you get you will uh, you saw that um, that you can uh, click on pass or fail on each step as well and let's say that after you passed everything and uh, there was another step that was missing and you did that and it failed you can come back here and fail it uh, and mark it failed or if you wanted to just go ahead and open it again and um, um, run the test again um, let me run it again and you pass everything and you s up here the login page didn't appear so you're gonna go ahead got error so we're gonna go ahead and save and close and it's in failure state so this is how you run your uh, test cases in uh, TFS 2013 using web access Hopefully this video helps you.